Nightingale number two. From a distance, the left half of this painting is dominated by a large gray shape, like a massive tree trunk with a noticeable slenderizing waistline which extends out of the bottom of a canvas and out of the top. Two yellow shapes define this waistline. The one on the left retreats, but because its bold black defining line is undercut, by a bright red vertical bar, it may be perceived as moving forward. The much larger yellow that forms the right edge of the tree's waistline suggests a rounded shield-like shape as to project itself forward, yet at the same time opens out into a more distant space, induced by a series of dark small markings that are immersed in this yellow, but can be understood as moving freely. Several triangular design elements can be seen, one very large that starts at the bottom of the canvas and rises obliquely toward the upper left, marked by vertically applied strokes of paint that turn to pink while proceeding into the upper left corner. This triangulation is completed by starting at bottom center and moving as configured elements to the painting's right edge. Another large triangle occurs within the painting's upper right quadrant. The luminous dark blue oval eye is propelled forward by the massive triangle with a hot red ovoid supported by a batch of darks boldly struck and interspersed with daubs of pink. This triangular mass is completed at its lower right corner by yet another small triangle formed by three compressed head masks. My work is that of a romantic. I had been dubbed an incurable romantic by friends decades ago. The subject matter and subsequent titles of my painting and landscape architecture are sure indicators. Check the grouping of my works on paper titled Heads. Even though rather abstract, the range of thought shown and titles given, and as one example, the portrait head of Corina, a sure indicator. This image and title hark back to the Roman poet Ovid, whose hometown lay in the valley below my mother's hometown of Roccarazzo, central Apennine mountains in central Italy, now a ski resort. I could not have done the work as seen on my website if my background did not include romantic poetry that underlies much of the arts, our supreme English language greater than all the rest.